Hey, what's good, family? It's been a little while. Forgive me for my absence. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you've been well. I've been in a uh, transitional season, so I've been trying to get some ducks in a row. But uh, today, I feel stirred up in the spirit to release a word based on the scripture of uh, God's goodness leads to repentance. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? The goodness of God, just seeing, just knowing what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross, dying for our sins, yet while we were, yet while we were still sinners, I mean, that alone should lead to repentance, right? To fall in his ways. Because how much do you have to love someone to die for them, especially if they don't even love you? How much, I mean, that's true love. The biggest act of love is, that's the biggest sacrifice. The biggest act of love is dying for somebody. How much more when, when you're the king of the universe, clothing yourself in human flesh, planning this before the foundations of the earth to die for our sins when we're still sinners, to rescue us, the true hero, the true hero. So uh, let's keep that in mind today. And, you know, I know we're, a lot of us are going through struggles. You know, it's, it's a battle every day. And that, that battle starts in the mind, right? The battlefield is the mind. So we, we got to remember to put on the full armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Be equipped, you know, feed the spirit so that we can overcome the flesh. When you're strong in the spirit, it's easy to overcome the flesh. But if we're not feeding the spirit, we're in our flesh, we're in our emotions. So it's just, it's really easy to, to get a rebellious spirit or pride and let, let that sin in, which allows the devil to come in through that door. So, uh... Read the word. King James Version is definitely recommended. But, you know, other versions you can eat off as well. But the Lord did show me in a dream that KJV literally feeds the spirit. And I notice other versions, I don't feel the same fed, you know, fed in the spirit as I do when I read the King James, quite honestly. So I would make that one a staple. But I'm not trying to be a, you know, a King James snob by any means or with a religious spirit. It's just revelation from the Lord. But yeah, God is so good. Taste and see the Lord is good. All, all who are weary and heavy laden, come and get rest. Come and see the Lord. He will give you rest. It's in his presence. It's in the secret place. He's really been calling a lot of us to, uh, to wait on him in that secret place. Get, get, go through the, you know, in the closet to pray or, you know, a quiet place. And go through the doors of Narnia. And enter Narnia, the secret place, different realms. God's presence. We're seated in heavenly places already. So we have that, ac that access to Christ. The veil is torn on the cross. It is finished. So we have access to God's presence as high priest. This isn't the Old Testament. New Testament, we're all priests. Our temple is the body of God. He lives inside of us. So praise and worship, reading the word, and then just sitting and meditating after you make your prayer request known. Sitting and waiting, meditating in a blissful state. And just waiting for the Lord to come through. He'll come eventually. You know, speaking in tongues, if you can speak in tongues, if you have that gift. If you don't, pray for it to receive it. It's very powerful. You know, because uh, your spirit, the Holy Spirit will, uh, you know, moan and groan and make utterances. Heavenly languages that we don't even understand. Some people do have interpretation gifts. Many do not. But the Lord knows, and the devil doesn't know what you know what what, the, what you're saying in those tongues. So pray for that gift. If you don't have it, use it. If you do, get in that secret place. Press in. When you feel God's bliss and His presence, that Shekinah glory, it's better than any sex, drugs, and rock and roll that I've ever tried when I was living in the world times a hundred. And there's no hangover. You're actually more turned up in the spirit. It's the best feeling ever. True ecstasy. True bliss. The definition. True peace. The only thing that can truly fulfill your soul is God and his presence. So I encourage you guys to uh, get in his presence. I pray that the Lord gives us focus, patience, to uh, wait on him and to get in his presence. You know, usually early in the morning, he's been showing us to wake up, I don't know, 3, 4, 5 a.m. to get into his presence. You know, if the Lord's showing you to fast, get on a fast. But be led by his spirit. You know, it's, it's not fruitful unless his, his uh, hand is upon it. So we, you know, we don't walk by sight, you know, the just walk by faith, walk by faith, not by sight. It's impossible to please God without faith. So, uh, just stay encouraged, stay focused. You got this. God's grace is sufficient. 
and his goodness leads to repentance. So when you taste and see how good the Lord is, naturally you want to follow him and, and uh, be obedient, walk in holiness and righteousness, which is through, you know, not by power, not by might, but through his spirit, it's finished. So don't put so much pressure on yourself. Forgive yourself if you haven't forgiven yourself or others. And love yourself, love your neighbor as yourself. Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And that just leads to repentance, man. You just really want to make Abba Father proud. There's nothing, nothing this world can offer. It's all cheap thrills that cannot fulfill your soul. It's all about Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I love you guys. Take care. Have a blessed day. And yeah, reach out if you need something. But yeah, let's press into the Lord because that's where the true love and peace and joy really is at. It's our strength. Peace be with you. Shalom.